In the Musar Torah commentary, uh, Rabbi Judy Shanks writes about Parashat Devarim, the very first portion of the book of Deuteronomy. And she tells the story of her mother-in-law, who at the time of Rabbi Shanks writing was 93 years old and almost entirely unable to get out of bed and in a great deal of pain and suffering. And yet her mother-in-law didn't give up on life. Her mother-in-law kept on living and was extremely um, gracious and, and loving uh, to the family. And her daughter-in-law, Rabbi Shanks, asked her how she did it, how she lived from one day to the next. And her mother-in-law said, gratitude. It's all about gratitude, grateful for all of the good things that I've experienced in my life. Rabbi Shanks also observes that facing decline in old age or whatever is a tremendous challenge in our lives requires a great deal of strength. Not just physical strength, but inner strength. And that's where she compares her mother-in-law to Moses. Moses in our portion has been told that he is soon to die. And in fact, the entire book of Deuteronomy is Moses' final oration. Moses does not approach that moment, that moment of not being able to enter the land of Israel, that moment of not getting what the goal of his life has been, to lead the people into the land himself. He doesn't face it with bitterness. He faces it instead with gratitude and with strength. And we see that in this week's parasha, parasha Devarim, the first portion of the book of Deuteronomy, and the section that I plan to read, Deuteronomy chapter 1, verses 6 through 11. Baruch Hu et Adonai HaMbuach, Baruch Adonai HaMbuach Le'olam Ba'ed, Baruch Adonai HaMbuach Le'olam Ba'ed, Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Asher Bachar Banu Mikol Hamim, Benatan Lanu Et HaTorah, Baruch Atah Adonai, Noten HaTorah. Adonai Eloheinu Diber Aleinu, Bachoreb Le'emor, Adonai, our God, said to us at Choreb, the same as Mount Sinai, saying, Rav lachem shevet bahar hazeh. You've stayed at this mountain long enough. Pnu usu lachem uvo'u har ha'emori. Get up and go. Turn and get going to the mountain of the Amorites, ve'el kol shchenav, and to all of its neighbors. Uva'arava, and into the southern, to the Arava, the southern desert, Bahar, into the mountain, Ubashvela, uh, into the coastal plain, Uvanegev, and into the Negev desert, Uvachov Hayam, and up to the up to the uh, coast of the sea, the shore of the sea, Eretz Haknani, uh, the land of the Canaanites, Bahalvanon, Ad Hanaha Hagadol, Naha Prat and up to Lebanon, all the way to the great river, the river Euphrates. See, I have given you this land. Come into this land and possess it. This is the land that Adonai promised to give to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob, and to their descendants after them. And I said, this is Moses speaking, I said to you at that time, I can no longer bear you by myself or I can no longer be responsible for you, he says, as a part of the preparation for his death. Adonai Eloheichem hirbe'etchem. Adonai, your God, has greatly increased you. V'hinchem hayom k'chochvei ha'shamayim. And today you are as numerous as the stars in the heavens. La'ol. 
Adonai Elohe Abraham Avotechem Yosef Alechem Chachem Elef Pa'amim May Adonai your God increase you and multiply you a thousand more times over. Ve'yavarech etchem ka'ashir diber lachem. And may God bless you as God had promised. Ba'uch ha'tahonai Eloheinu melech ha'olam asher natan lanu Torah temet v'chai olam natah v'tochenu Ba'uch ha'tahonai noten ha'torah Amen.